This is Port of Oregon, <clears throat> Frog Alley, oh Central God. City Concern. This is Greyhound Bus Station. People be here 24 hours a day, firing crack, smoking crack, firing meth, smoking meth, getting raped in the bathroom down here, right down from a female shelter. Uh, sex offenders upstairs, drug and alcohol program right here. They just love the crack, they need counseling, I'm trying to get a big building to rent rooms to people who have. We need a halfway house. We need a house for females. Uh, transitional share housing for females. So when they leave here, uh, on the other side, they can just move on in. Uh, we want people with income, Portland, Oregon. There's always people over here uh, hanging out because there's nowhere to go. Um, pray for the people, men and women here in Portland, Oregon. And the streets are clear. That's amazing. That's really, really, really amazing. She is clearly not homeless. Uh, so people can come up out of the jaws of poverty. There goes the homeless people right there. Pray for the people. These are the people we try to help right here in the crack alley. Next block is where they body crack over here is where they smoke it. Pray for these crackheads, meth heads, because they dying out here. Nathaniel Cross, he died. Central City was certain building above Mary's Club. Uh, four blocks up and uh, January there's Not another homeless guy we need to get these homeless Anchor people off the streets street. this is a documentary from We Rise to One Line the Street Ministry right. here goes there goes a tweaker right there and here goes tweakers pray for these tweakers they need off the streets they need housing I call the tweakers if you do meth you're going to be tweaking simple as that uh, that's grandma grandma need off the streets this is sad the elderly Denied housing in Wives, the elderly denied housing in Portland, Oregon. Nobody cares about the elderly in Portland, Oregon, apparently. But we rise to online and street ministry. The elderly denied housing. Look at that. That's just sad. It happens. And she can't get on. Can somebody help Grandma? Okay, Grandma got on. All righty then. Uh, like I said, we need housing for veterans. The uh, elderly, the uh, you sleeping outside here in Portland, Oregon. And this is just ridiculous right here. People who's like doing way too much. Or maybe they travelers. Yeah, they got a tag on their on their luggage. Most people carry luggage bags, they're just straight homeless. Central City Concern had this building here and they just used it for like office space. They need to rehouse the homeless women. They had homeless women here and then they stopped it kicking a homeless woman out. This is Portland, Oregon. This is Burnside. There's Murray's Club where Dusty died at alongside those bushes right there. Burnside and Broadway. You do meth, you will die like Nathaniel Cross, church secretary. He decided to smoke meth opposed to giving money to the IRS for nonprofit tax exemption so that the church can rent rooms to people sleeping outside like that over there. Uh, the underbelly of the beast. Portland, Oregon. Bring it to you live and uncut raw people sleeping outside he may not be homeless but everybody else on this block that you see panhandling over here by this food court is definitely displaced black panthers we need black panthers donations to help the black people here in town apparently the europeans don't care about the black people here in town we got over six hundred African Americans displaced houseless right now because transitional projects incorporated central city concerns denying people housing. We need to get housing, housing, housing for the disenfranchised Portland, Oregon. We also need to stop domestic violence. Eric Lamar Nelson busted point set up parks head in. All right, this is where we see homeless people at. And what do we what do we have in this corner? We have a homeless guy, he needs food. Pray for the disenfranchised. Surprisingly, there's only one houseless individual there. Here's the probation department where Eric Lamar Nelson, no, Robert Hayden choking, smothering Kathy Tell. I tell his probation officer at the probation department, she says, it is okay to choke, rape, and smother white women. But she did not do anything. She did not lock up Robert Hayden, AKA cowboy crack dealer in Portland, Oregon. This is Portland, Oregon. You always see the 
mystery man right here in Galleria Pioneer Northern Courthouse. Place, Southwest and it's not Avenue. there. Normally it's there panhandling right here. Doors to my right. This is where they hang out at Panhandling because rich people come down there and um, always got money. This is where you buy your cell phones at. People always over here at Panhandling pray for the homeless here in Portland, Oregon. They need help. This is We Rise Online and Street Ministry, providing food, clothing, personal hygiene items, camping tents and sleeping bags to the disenfranchised here in Portland, Oregon. Getting off soon. This is the heart of downtown. We come down here and pass out pizza to the disenfranchised who need food. $499 needed for nonprofit tax exemption, Portland, Oregon. Please donate today. End the report. Whoop, oh, hold up. Can't end the report right now. Young man collecting cans. Hallelujah. Oh, grandpa. Grandma right there. That's sad. Walking down the road. Grandma need housing. How can this be the greatest nation in the world when we got grandmothers walking around houseless? Pulling luggage with old clothing. There go a uh, young man of age 55 walking around he need housing this is sad this is the courthouse downtown courthouse where all the criminals go and uh, plead innocent and get locked up pray for the criminals here in town we need a halfway house for the criminals that's getting released because they are put in a central city concern housing City-Hall, facility Southwest and they have and bed Street. bugs in the place and that's not good. Nobody should be living around bed bugs. This is where we did a Black Lives Matter protest on the other side of City Hall, Portland, Oregon. My political days. Welcome to City Hall, Portland, Oregon. Home of the KKK. Hallelujah. Pray for the KKK that they stop being a KKK and love all. End of report.